how would you articulate how important he is to college basketball? Whew, um, that's hard to put into words. I, I think he's the greatest achiever that has seen college basketball other than John Wooden. And the thing about him that's so different is that he's a master communicator, right? He gets the first conversation I ever had with Kobe Bryant was about Coach K. One of the first conversations I ever had with LeBron James was about Coach K. He's that glue that keeps all the greats together because he gets you to buy into something bigger than yourself. Like, that is his theme. It's all about culture. X's How? and O's. How does he do that, Jay? Well, he does that. He breaks down your egos, Matt. So th this is what happens, and this is where I think the frustration is kind of panned into, not frustration, but maybe just like, hey, I think that I feel like I've accomplished enough and I'm ready to pass the reins on to a guy like John Shire. When you come into that school, if you're – McDonald's All-American like I was. I came up with four McDonald's All-Americans. What he does over that first year is he says, you are no different than anybody else on this team. You're going to be held to the same standards. And, yeah, you may have dropped 30, 40 points in high school, but you have to learn how to work here differently. So when he breaks down your ego, where he challenges you in front of your teammates, he calls you out for things that typically doesn't ever happen in high school, he gets you to believe that you can't do things by yourself. You might be individually great at your skill set, but you need the collective skill set in order to achieve the collective goal. When you can do that over a year, like two years maybe, right? But what happens now is when you have one and dones, when you have kids that have all these alternative other positions to go to to achieve their goal, you have to expedite that process. It's hard to get me to get you to buy into something bigger than yourself when you're only here for four and a half months. Look at the kid Johnson that was on the team that literally left the team this year and was like, no, I'm good. I need to do what's best for me. That's never happened in the history of the program before. And I think the more things like that happened with the transfer pool, with companies like Overtime Elite, oh, you want to be paid in high school? Be paid. Okay, great. You want to go to the G League? Be paid millions of dollars. You want to go overseas? Be what LaMelo Ball or what RJ Hampton have done. It makes it way much more a different environment that it's not what he signed up for originally. Now, he can adapt. I'm sure he could. But I think that for Coach K, doing it his way has always been the way he's been able to achieve the ultimate level of success. I was getting ready to ask you that, Jay, and I think you answered the question. But just to be specific, I was going to ask you, knowing him the way that you do, having played for him, won a national title for him, was player of the year for him, et cetera, I wanted to know, is, was there a moment where you looked at him and you saw this coming or did you find this as a total shock to you once the news came down yesterday? I would probably say, S.A., it was probably when dealing with – and it was a great team, and he loved coaching him, but it was interesting that Zion Williamson, R.J. Barrett, Cam Reddish year, right, dealing with the amount of pressure that came on that, getting those guys to build into something – I think was just challenging. You had a lot of moving pieces. You had Zion, who was a lightning rod. You had Cam Reddish, who was extremely talented. Uh, R.J. Barrett, who was first-class individual. But I, I think Coach K has always been brilliant at managing egos. But like I said, you have to be there long enough for him to actually understand who you are for you to reveal who you are. So when people know that, hey, this is a pit stop, this is a pit stop for me to achieve my ultimate dream. It makes it harder for individuals to buy into the collective. And that's where his brilliance has always been next level. Get you to focus your attention and effort on what the team is trying to achieve, not what you're trying to achieve individually. Not to mention, he's 74 years old. There are investigations into college basketball. Who needs that mess? And by the way, let's not forget, there's a year season coming up. He's not done yet. What are the odds that he can win a championship in his final season as coach, Jay? Pretty high. I mean, pretty high. I mean, it, it, it's pretty insane with this team, this collection of talent that he has. This may be, over the last couple of years, his best opportunity to win a championship. We could be talking about this in the next six, seven months. Coach K could be retiring, winning his sixth championship. His sixth championship, because they have championship talent on this roster. Wow. Absolutely. Uh, Jace, thanks for sticking around here with you us. Got Appreciate it. you. I know you yes, already sir. did four hours of radio TV. All good, all good. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.